Hey guys, this is Yo Mama's Llama 29, and I just wanted to do a lure review today. Um, we're just going to be looking at a lot of uh, trout lures. They can be used for other fish, but I use them for trout. Okay, let's get started. The first lure I wanted to talk about is the Castmaster. This is a 1 8 ounce right here. Uh, brown, I believe it's a brown trout color. These work great for trout. They're probably my, I don't know, they're fighting for first, maybe second. I think they're tied for first trout lure. They are really good. They have a great action. Um, they don't get tangled too much. The one thing I don't like about them is that sometimes they'll go like this. And, um... It will get caught, the hook will go around the line like that, and it will just kind of be like that, and you'll have to reel it up, and that would be like a dud cast that won't catch anything. But um, otherwise, they're actually really good. Um, I do not suggest putting a swivel on there, it just kind of ruins the action. I got two right now, I got this brown trout color and one eighth ounce, and this fire tiger color unopened. One that one eighth ounce. Um, they're really pricey. You can see this is five dollars. Um, I still recommend them though. They come in a variety of colors and sizes. Um, and the hooks they're uh, actually pretty good quality, so you don't have to really worry about those breaking anytime soon. Um, just there's some weird thing with this color, the fire tiger, that, uh, the paint chips, if, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but if you can look right there, you see that silver, the paint chips, I don't think the fish are really gonna notice that, just kinda like, I don't know, OCD or something, I just really don't like that, so I'm gonna stop buying this color. Um, another place where it's chipped, I uh, can't see it, but yeah, down there, you see that? Right there, yeah, you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now, another really great lure that I wanted to show you is this lure that I'm about to show you. It's just like a trout-killing machine. Sorry, trout-catching machine, okay? It's just the Countdown Rapala. Okay, this is a rainbow trout color. But, um, they come in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes. Um, this is one of my favorite colors right here. Just because... Let me try to get you a better picture. That's my favorite color right there. Just, um, because I fish for rainbow trout and it has a lot of colors. Um, looks really realistic in the water. The thing with these is that what you can actually do is you would cast it out. And then you count, and every time you count, like, say, one one thousand, that's one foot deep. I know, it's really great. So you can cast out, if you have your um, hummingbird right there, you can cast out, and then you, you know, you first you drive the spot, see how deep it is, and see, like, um, how big the hole is. You cast out, say the f hole is seven feet deep, you want just above the bottom cast out one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six stop reel in and it will stay at that height that depth until you get about within uh, th three feet of the boat okay and that is just great it's just, that's what makes it so deadly. Um, yeah, but I don't really do all that high-tech fishing, so I just kind of go in there, feel how deep it is, and I'll come back. Um, I also have another color. This one's the Bleeding Shad. It will, If you can see there, it has the red bill and the red cuts on the gills and the red hooks. Um, these are really expensive. They're about 7 bucks. Uh, I still recommend them, even though they're a little bit pricey. All Rapala lures are actually really expensive. Uh, here's another one, just, um, silver right there. This one catches a lot of trout. 
Um, eh. Sorry. Hello? 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 Okay, sorry about that. Uh, oh yeah. This is a... Sorry about all the holes. I got bored and I started burning them. Hold on, I'm trying to get this. Picture. Okay, well. This is a Rapala jointed. Floating jointed. It's a J9. Oh, I forgot to tell you. These, all these that I have are J3s. I mean, sorry. Uh, countdown number threes. Um, these are, this is a Rapala... Uh, J9 jointed caught a huge ass trout with this. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. You know, just uh, some. Oh, forgot. Oh, almost forgot about these little grubs. Catch bluegill. Catch perch. Um, catch smaller trout or even bigger trout. You never know. I caught a bass off this once. It was only like nine ounces though. Um, yeah, I mean. Some really great lures. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out fishing tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a video out of that. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Your mom's a llama 29 out.